In this demo, we will play with a list that I have in this SharePoint site over here called the Work Progress Tracker. I have three different items. They both have a progress column which can either be completed, in progress, or blocked. And since we're tracking work progress, they also have a start date and an end date. What we will do in this demo is we will use some of the different things we just learned in the slides. We will create a flow that will loop through all of the items of this SharePoint list. And then if the due date is passed and the progress is not completed, we will send a reminder email to the person this task is assigned to, to remind them to either update the date or actually finish their task. So let's get started. I will go in Power Automate here. Let's do a new flow. In production, you would probably make this on a schedule. Let's say run it every Wednesday and Friday, for example, or something like that. But in our demo, we will just make it an instant cloud flow. This way we can trigger it right away. And I will select to manually trigger a flow. Awesome. Let's wait for it to load. Let's add a new step. And what I will search for is get items. So I want to get all of the items from a SharePoint list. Let me select the site. This time it's the getting started with Microsoft Power Automate site. And then for the list, it will be the work progress tracker. So now we have actually got all of the items in that list. Now we actually need to go and loop through each one of them. So what I will do here, I will add a new step and you can either search for loop or just so you know, all of those logical controls are under the control connector. So if I go under the control connector, I can see my condition, apply to each loop, do until loop, switch statement, things that we have talked about in the slides. Let's do an apply to each loop. And then what are we going to loop on is we are going to loop on the list of items we got previously. Great. Now I need to add an action. And what I want to do is I want to make sure I get the information on the specific item I'm looping on. So I will search for get item without the S at the end. So I'll make sure I pick the good one here. The second one, it will ask me, okay, Vlad, what site still the getting started with Power Automate. The list name will be the work progress tracker. And then the ID under dynamic content. Here I have the ID and it even says in the description, use this value for specifying the item to act on. Great. So now I have the item. Next up, I need to add a condition. So again, I'll go under control, let's select the condition. And what I will say for the condition is if, and let's go into dynamic content and say if the progress value and make sure we're on the get item here is not equal to, and we have to make sure we get it right. So it's completed. Let's type in completed. And then in Power Automate, we can really make advanced conditions. So what I can add here, I can add another row and say, okay, and so I want both those comparisons to be true before the condition is true. Now, let me select the due date. So great, the due date by when the work is completed must be less than, so this way it has passed. And then let's choose the value, which, wait, we don't have a value in dynamic content because we do not have the date. However, if we go into expressions, we can create content. We can get content that is not necessarily from the trigger or from the other items. So I can use the UTC now function to say, hey, right now. So if the due date is less than now. So if both of those are true, it means somebody has a task that is not completed and that is past due. So I'll go here, let's send an email to that person. Let me search for send email, Office 365 Outlook. Let's get the dynamic content. We'll get the assigned to email. We'll say your 
task is late and in the body, let me just add the title of the task. If there is nothing to do, I will not send any email or anything like that, so we will just save it as is. Great, let me click on save here and then let's try it. Something I forgot to do is make sure that you rename your flow. If not, it will give it a very fancy name like this button, get items, apply to each, get item. So it'll really get all of the actions and the trigger we do and put that in the name. We do not want that. So what I will say here is I'll just name it reminder for overdue tasks and let's save it. Awesome, let's wait for it to save again. I do have the flow checker. Now this is something that is pretty cool with Power Automate when you save it. You do have a flow checker telling you if there's any errors, but right now it's telling me like, hey, there is a warning when you do get items. If you have a lot of items, you could implement an old data filter to increase the performance of your flow. Now, this is a more advanced topic, but for us with only three items, it doesn't really make sense. So I will not do anything for it, but just know that there is a flow checker that will give you warnings or tell you if there is anything wrong with your flow. Great, so let's actually go and run it. Let's continue. Let's run the flow. And what should happen is I only have one task here, the demo plan that is in progress and the due date is five days ago. So I should be getting one single email which has to do with the demo plan being late. Let's take a look, nothing in my email yet. There we go. Of course, as soon as I clicked away, it just arrived. Your task is late, demo plan, so it worked. And if we take a look back to the flow, it should be done, it has succeeded. So this is it for this quick demo in which we have really created a flow from scratch and showcased some of the more advanced logic operators you can add in Power Automate Cloud Flows, such as loops and expressions in order to really follow the logic of your business process.